Data pipelines over time run into so many different issues. Maybe you notice that you are missing data from a specific date, or you have a source that doesn't track deletes and you need to detect those. So with Airbyte 1.0, we're introducing a new feature called refreshes that takes care of all these related issues. Let's take a look. All right, so we're gonna start off in BigQuery. And as you can see here, I have a data set called public and four different tables. Currently I'm in the reviews table. And I ran a little query here showing me how many records we have and displaying this new column called the generation ID that comes from Airbyte. Now you can see that I have 300 records and the value for this generation ID is zero, but this will come into play later in the demo. So now we're in the Airbyte UI where we're in the connection where we're writing Postgres over to BigQuery and you'll see the four tables that we originally saw. I'm gonna head over to the settings tab and you'll see down here the refresh your data option. So let me go ahead and click that and then we'll be prompted with two different methods. The first one being refresh streams and retain records and the other one being the same, but we remove the records. The key differences here are going to be on the retain records. We're actually just going to keep the records in your destination, even though the source no longer contains them. On the flip side for the remove records, if the source no longer has those records, we'll remove them entirely from the destination. So keep in mind that with this method here, although it is the simplest method, this does result in data loss if you don't have anything backed up or your destination doesn't keep track of any deleted records or things like that. So keep that in mind that this option is not reversible and will result in data loss. Down at the bottom here, you'll see which streams are going to be affected by this refresh. And you can see that all four tables of mine or all four streams of mine are going to be affected. Now let me go ahead and refresh this. We're going to use the refresh and remove records option. So let me go ahead and click that. And at the top here, you'll see that this is going and all these are queued to be refreshed. So once that's done, we'll head back into BigQuery and see what that looks like. All right, so we're now we're back in BigQuery and we still have the same query here. I just ran it back on the reviews table and you can see that the Airbyte generation ID has now incremented to one. So what happened here? When you actually run a refresh, instead of having the possibility of a source crashing during a sync and not emitting new records, when you run a refresh, we actually wait for the source to send data and actually complete the sync before we write it to the destination. And with the generation ID, this allows you to actually track historic data so that you understand what data came before or after a refresh. You would have noticed that the generation ID was zero before we ran a refresh and then after they all incremented to one. If we go back to the Airbat UI and run a refresh and retain records, we would have 600 records here because we retain these records in the destination. And then the generation IDs that currently had a one would go up to two. And then the new generation IDs for the other 300 rows that would come in would all have a generation ID of one. So that way you can kind of disambiguate which records came at which times. So that's a quick introduction on how refreshes works within Airbyte. If you wanna learn more about refreshes, make sure you head over to our documentation, which will also be linked down below for you to check out. But aside from that, thanks for watching.